the case of the United States versus Eugene Sisko III continued in downtown Pottville on Tuesday morning. Following the previous day's jury selection process and opening arguments, Mountain Top News was in attendance as multiple witnesses took the stand to give their testimonies. The first witness that federal prosecutors called to the stand this morning was the defendant's sister and former business partner at Sesco's Substance Abuse Recovery Clinics, Alexandria Allen. When asked to describe the working dynamic of their partnership, Allen indicated that while she was over most of the day-to-day -day operations of the clinics, her brother took on most of the administrative duties. Allen also claimed that shortly after a falling out between her and Sesco, her brother began barring her from business meetings at which he was present. Allen claimed that during their partnership, she did not have any knowledge regarding the fraudulent charges Sesco is alleged to have been charging patients of their clinics. Testimony from another witness, who was employed at one of the clinics during this time, indicated that clinic staff had originally questioned why they were still charging patients cash fees once Medicaid began accepting their billing. According to their testimony, Sesco is alleged to have told his staff that it was because Medicaid would not cover the counseling services that their site offered, which was not true. Later, a former patient at one of the defendant's clinics took the stand and stated that they had, on more than one occasion, witnessed other patients who were seeking treatment be turned away after they were not able to afford the additional cash fee. If true, this would mean that patients who were legitimately seeking substance abuse treatment and had insurance which would cover the cost of services were wrongfully denied help. The trial is set to continue in downtown Pikeville on Wednesday. For Mountain Talk News, I'm Joshua Sloan.